Street food at Shin Okubo. Ten must try food. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. In today's video, we will explore Shin Okubo for street food. We'll share with you the recent trending food and dessert menus from 10 shops. Last to be announced is the top 3 of our favorite food, so stay with us to find out more. Now, let's get started! We have arrived at Shin Okubo Station. The station is located next to Shinjuku and is one minute ride on the train. It'll be about 30 minutes ride if you're traveling from Tokyo Station. If you were to take a walk from Japan's number one bustling district of Kabukicho, it'll take about 10 minutes. When you take a right turn after exiting Shin Okubo Station, today's target destination lies ahead. This is the highlight of today's video, Korean town at Shin Okubo. With over 600 shops in this district, it's famous for being the number one Korean town in Japan. As much as 9 million people visit here in a year. In this channel, we have explored the very place for street food before too. We'll share with you 10 of the food menus that we couldn't cover before. Then, let's start our food patrol. First of all, let's begin with Uncle Tun's house. The shop serves to-go menus and the place opened in December 2021. From here, the cheese menus are frequently ordered. We picked well-chosen potato corn dog this time. Over the fresh fried potato corn dogs, sprinkles of sugar, ketchup, and honey mustard are placed on top before served. This corn dog has cubed potato blocks around skewered mozzarella cheese and then fried. The sweet taste from sugar and honey mustard gets you addictive. The cheese in the middle is melty and creamy. It's quite filling and eating one is just enough. Moving next to Myeongdong Chibi Norimaki. It's a gimpa shop opened in 2021. The shop is regularly featured on TV and has quite a reputation. There's so many kinds to choose from, but we took a shot of most popular one. Gimbap is a Korean seaweed flavor wrapped rice seasoned with sesame oil. There are over seven different fillings, including carrots, eggs, and crab sticks. The one we bought has bulgogi flavored beef inside as well. The beef is well seasoned and perfect to have with rice. Smaller sizes are also available, so we suggest that you try some too. Followed by, that is, Seoul Ichiba. You can purchase Korean snacks and food from here. There are abundant menus to go as well. The happy egg that we introduced in the previous video has been moved and joined to become part of Seoul Ichiba. The sandwich with fluffy rolled egg is everyone's favorite. We'll be checking out cheese ball in today's video. Over fried cheese ball, cheddar cheese seasonings are sprinkled then served. The smell of cheddar cheese really increases your appetite. Outside is crispy and chewy in the inside. The cheddar cheese filling has melted and in creamy consistency. The size is moderate and perfect for eating while strolling around the district. Now, over to Over Macaron. It's a macaron shop serving Korean style oversized confection. There's a sister shop in Shibuya 109 too. 
There are so many kinds, but the one in Shibuya has the one and only macaron. And that one and only is this macaron in the shape of Hachiko. <laughs> the macaron consists of vanilla base with buttercream filling. Also, in the very center of the buttercream is a layer of caramel sauce. Back to the Shin Okubo shop, and we'll have this macaron. The macaron is in the shape of strawberry, and it's so adorable. The macaron itself is sweet and sour, just like the fruit. It's crispy on the outer part and moist in the inside. The filling is yogurt-flavored cream. It's moderately sweet with refreshing aftertaste. The next shop is called Gamaro Ganjan. In the previous video, we checked cheese corn dogs from here. The menu is a must-have also, so don't forget to try it out. What we are having today is this menu right here. It's takkanjan. Takkanjan is boneless fried chicken marinated in sweet and chili sauce. Since honey is added to the sauce, you taste the sweetness in the midst of spiciness. I must say, this crispy texture is very addictive. The chicken is soft and moist. You can eat it like snack. You can also choose cheese takkanjan with abundant cheese on top. Now, changing the subject to Hello Donuts. It's a donut shop that opened last July. Their cute-looking donuts have attracted many attentions on SNS. We picked this donut. On top of the donut lies a flower made of whipped cream and it's a charm. The surface of the donut is sprinkled with powdered sugar. Inside the donut is packed with whipped cream too. It's sweet bun since it's airy, it doesn't feel heavy in your stomach. The donut itself is very fluffy too. The taste is real even with this charming appearance. Then, next, we are introducing Jongno Yatai Mura. It's another people attracting shop which forms lines of people every day. Last time, we checked out cheese takkanjan. This time, what we are trying is this cheese topogi. How amazing is this cheese that's about to drip off from the cup? Topogi is very spicy, but the cheese makes it milder. The chewy texture is so addictive though. On to the next to Popo Hotok. It's a hot dog shop, a Korean sweet pancake snack. This is a yet another shop with popularity and people would wait in line to buy their snacks. They will prepare your chosen menu after order so you can eat it hot. Outside is crispy. The dough is made of flour and rice flour so you can experience the chewy texture. Inside is filled with honey. The sweetness from the honey spread inside your mouth, and it's epic. I also love the crunch from the nut and the smell of the cinnamon. The next shop is called The Hot Talk. It's another hot talk shop as to the previous one we talked about, but we are trying SNS viral menu from here. Once the batter is washed down into the hard mold and cooked, it's then served. It's a seafood pancake. I'm catching savory smell of sesame oil. Outside is prepared crispy while the inside maintain its chewiness. The textures from squid and chives are addictive too. And the last to sum up the video is Yondon Boru Katsu. 
The shop serves ground meat cutlet and opened last April. It's a popular chain store from Korea. Now we shall be checking out this SNS viral menu. This is called Boru Katsu Burger, veggies sandwiched with halves of the ground cutlet. There are three flavors and we picked teriyaki sauce. It's juicy with a slice of tomato too. For the meat, pork from Kagoshima Prefecture is used. And it's so juicy! The flavor has a kick, but with a lot of veggies, it feels light. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!